hey what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have a conducting rod of mass m and length l is suspended horizontally with the help of two identical non conducting springs of stiffness k okay so as you can see there is a rod and two springs of spring constant k placed in the pre in presence of a uniform horizontal magnetic field of induction b okay the ends of the rod are connected in a circuit with a battery and a capacitor okay the initially the switch was at position 1 for a long time so for a long time the capacitor is being charged so it has already reached its steady state so the capacitor already has a charge of e times c describe the motion of the rod after the switch is thrown to position 2 neglect resistance and inductance in the circuit consider the wires connecting the rod are extremely flexible okay so initially the capacitor was charged and after that the switch is thrown to point 2 okay so let me draw the diagram once again so this is our rod having mass m initially that means just after before throwing the switch to 2 the forces that were acting on the rod are mg and there was some initial stretching in both the springs let that be x0 so here it is kx0 here will be another kx0 so the rod was in its equilibrium position now when this charged capacitor when this charged ca capacitor is suddenly connected with this rod what happens as it is already said in the question that there is no resistance or inductance in the circuit there is a quick flow of charge through the rod okay uh, let me draw the magnetic field also the magnetic field is coming out of the plane of paper so there is a quick flow of the charge through the rod which will create a short impulse of current and due to that flow of current there will be a force on the whole rod due to the magnetic field okay so the current would flow in this direction there would be a force in this direction which will generate a sudden impulse on the rod which will give it an initial velocity okay and after getting that velocity it will start oscillating because there will be no more current flowing through the rod so it will start oscillating in a vertical way with a frequency or with an angular frequency of root over 2k by m because as you can see the effective k is 2k here and the extra force mg is useless because the spring will only create the required restoring force so the gravity is uh, not responsible to change the angular frequency so after flow of this sudden amount of current there will be a short impulsive force increasing its velocity giving it a sudden increase in velocity so it will start oscillating in the vertical direction with an angular frequency omega so first we can uh, note it down that motion will be simple harmonic in vertical direction okay in the vertical direction now as we know that the motion general equation of a simple harmonic motion is a sine omega t plus phi so initially the rod was in its mean position so let us consider that this one is y equals 0 where the net force is 0 and suddenly there is a sharp impulsive force which increases its which gives the rod a velocity v0 so we need to find out v0 first first uh, let us uh, make this equation a little bit more simple so at t equals to 0 y equals to 0 okay and uh, y dot will be equal to v naught so if you use this three boundary condition you can get phi equals to zero and uh, a equals to v naught by omega because if you differentiate it you will get y bar equals to a omega cos omega t plus phi and that would give you a equals v naught by omega so the general solution reduces to v naught by omega sin 
omega t okay now we already know that omega equals to root over k by m we'll use this one and how do we find v naught let us draw the rod once again there is a certain amount of flow of charge of value e times c okay for a short interval of time let that interval be del t and this this will create a sharp pulse of current of this much amount okay and this current due to the flow of this amount of current there will be a force on the rod due to the magnetic field and that force would be ibl that is ec by del t times bl okay and this force will generate a impulse of f times del t which is ecbl and this will increase the momentum from 0 to mv naught okay so v naught is equal to ecbl divided by m okay so the final solution or the equation of motion would be v naught let me write down this one again v naught by omega sin omega t so v naught is ecbl m omega was root over k by m sin omega is root over k by m t let us simplify the equation that is ecbl root over 2 k m sin root over 2 k by m times t okay so this is our final equation of motion okay so i hope you all have found this video helpful and informative if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and uh, see you in the next one good luck peace